Sporadic E is a type of radio propagation that occurs in the E layer of the ionosphere. The E layer extends from about 90 to 120 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Sporadic E propagation is characterized by sudden, short-lived bursts of enhanced ionization, resulting in increased reflectivity of radio waves. These events may last just a few minutes to many hours, allowing radio communications over hundreds or even thousands of kilometres. ES propagation is most noticeable on 6 metres and to a lesser extent on 2 metres and 70 centimetres. This 1500 kilometre 2 metre contact between Victoria and Queensland is few and far between. Roger, Roger, five and nine into Mount Martha. Name's Andrew, 40X, VK3, Fox Sierra. Yeah, good, Andrew, QSL, you're also 59, VK3, Fox Sierra. Yeah, when oxygen atoms in the E layer are ionised by soft X-rays from the sun, they lose electrons, forming electron clouds, which we call E clouds. When a skyward radio wave reaches the ionosphere, the electric field in the wave forces the electrons in the cloud into a sympathetic oscillation at the same frequency as the radio wave. At this point, two things can happen. The radio wave is absorbed as heat and the signal is lost. Or, if certain conditions are met, the cloud of electrons can act more like a static reflector. In the latter, almost all of the radio energy is given up to the vibration. All the electrons vibrate in phase and together they re-radiate the original wave energy back downward again. Thus, the wave skips off the E-layer, hopefully to be received at some distant point. Sporadic E, as the name suggests, is unpredictable and there are multiple causes that are still being pursued by researchers. Being in the right place at the right time is the key.